Hello and welcome back to Channel Codex. This is your host Afzal and today we are going to create the beautiful minimal design which you just saw. I have a basic project setup so we don't waste time in there. I'm going to start with safe area and column inside it. Okay, let's go to Adobe XD and copy the elements right into VS Code. Just to inform you that XD to Flutter is now available for early access. Make sure you use it and submit your feedback. Check link in the description to get early access to XD to Flutter plugin. Now let's add all the colors used in the project. Don't worry, you can copy it from git source which I have shared in the first comment below. Header section is ready. Now let's move to the core part of this design, which is the sliding cards. We are going to use Flutter Swiper plugin, link in the description. It has lots of feature which we are going to utilize in this project. No need to reinvent the wheel. We will create separate file for data. Here I added model of the planet class and list of planets. No fancy stuff, just copy paste. We are going to provide item count, item width, type of layout and item builder to the swiper. Pause the video or slow down at any point of time if you need to go through the code. A stack is very important in our design. I'm going to quickly pull in all the widgets from XD to VS code. And with just little bit of modification, our card started taking shape.
See how I added spacing in stack which looks like painted outside the box. Likewise, you can trick the UI with the simple hacks. On top of the card, we will add image from asset and our card is almost ready. This images I have taken from freepick.com and later modified in XD to add some shadow and remove other layers. Let's quickly pull in the pagination dots. Here you can modify size, color and a whole lot of other properties. Thanks to the developer of this package, it saved a lot of our time, right? So finally, we are in the bottom of this page. Let's create a navigation menu. Simple icon button inside a row will work for us. Add some alignment. Add padding to it to make it spacious. And we will apply some of the decoration. The Adobe XD plugin gives us the decoration with this two property, but we can optimize it further. It's a smart, but we are smarter. One last thing left to do is to provide the gradient background. And it's done. We are going to cover the detail page in next video. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. Do like the video if you have enjoyed and provide your feedback. Thank you so much guys for watching. See you in the next one.